In late April 2025, China's State Council approved a substantial investment package for the nuclear power sector, valued at approximately $27.4 billion. This decision authorizes the simultaneous construction of 10 new nuclear reactors distributed across five critical coastal sites, clearly reinforcing nuclear energy as a cornerstone of China's long-term energy strategy. The Fangchenggang Phase 3 project in Guangxi will introduce two Huolong-1 reactors, each with a capacity of approximately 1,208 megawatts of electricity, sufficient to supply a power to millions of households. In southern China, Taishan Phase 2 in Guangdong has also been greenlit for two Huolong-1 reactors, each with a capacity of about 1,200 megawatts. This region, characterized by high population density and significant industrial activity, has substantial electricity demands, and the additional capacity will alleviate strain on the local power grid. In Zhejiang, Salmon Phase 3 will construct two Hulong-1 reactors, each with a capacity of around 1,215 megawatts. Salmon is a key hub for nuclear development, previously selected for deploying cutting-edge technologies. Meanwhile, Xiapu Phase 1 in Fujian will add two Hulong-1 reactors alongside the CFR-600 project, a fast reactor being tested to utilize nuclear fuel more efficiently. The parallel deployment of these technologies highlights China's strategy of balancing commercial expansion with innovative experimentation. In contrast to the above projects, Haiyang Phase 3 in Shandong has been approved for two CAP-1000 reactors. These are China's localized adaptation of America's AP-1000 technology, enhanced to meet domestic operational conditions. Each CAP-1000 reactor has a capacity of approximately 1,200 megawatts, providing a significant power boost to the northeastern coastal region. Notably, this marks the fourth consecutive year that China has approved in at least 10 new nuclear reactors, establishing a rare and consistent development trajectory in a field that requires enormous capital investment and extended construction timelines. This decision not only reflects the growing domestic energy demand, but also underscores a strategic prioritization of nuclear power within the broader framework of energy security and emissions reduction. With these 10 new reactors, the projected additional capacity is expected to exceed 12,000 megawatts. This figure is comparable to the electricity production capacity of many mid-sized states in the United States and is sufficient to meet the needs of tens of millions of people. This bold step reaffirms China's unprecedented pace in expanding its nuclear energy infrastructure. China currently stands as the world leader in the scale of constructing and operating nuclear power plants. As of the end of 2024, the nation had commissioned approximately 58 nuclear reactors, boasting a total capacity of about 60,000 megawatts, which accounts for a significant portion of the country's overall electricity demand. Simultaneously, more than 30 additional reactors are under construction, contributing an extra capacity of roughly 34,000 megawatts, sufficient to provide energy or tens of millions of people. Not stopping there, China has set an even more ambitious goal, achieving 200,000 megawatts of nuclear power capacity by 2035, more than tripling its current capacity. By 2040, nuclear energy is expected to make up approximately 10% of the nation's total energy mix, up from 5% in 2024. This long-term strategy not only aims to reduce China's dependence on coal and natural gas, but also drives the development of a sustainable green economy. Furthermore, China is committed to achieving carbon neutrality by 2060. With nuclear power playing a pivotal role in this plan, nuclear energy significantly reduces greenhouse gas emissions, supporting national climate goals. By 2024, thanks to its nuclear power plants, China had cut approximately 334 million tons of carbon dioxide, equivalent to removing more than 70 million cars from the roads for a year. This represents one of the most significant contributions of the nuclear power industry to the global fight against climate change. Beyond capacity and output, a critical factor behind China's impressive achievements is the complete localization of nuclear technology from design and equipment manufacturing to installation and operation. China now produces nearly all major reactor components domestically, reducing reliance on a foreign technology. This not only lowers costs, but also enhances international competitiveness. Reactors such as Huolong-1, CAP-1000, and small modular reactors like Linglong-1 are being deployed extensively, not only meeting domestic needs, but also being exported to countries like Pakistan and Argentina. Through a combination of scale, capacity, and a strong commitment to safety, China is rapidly surpassing other nations in developing and utilizing nuclear power 
as a vital component of its sustainable energy strategy. While traditional nuclear projects continue to be rolled out aggressively, China is aiming for a technological breakthrough with the world's first thorium-based molten salt reactor, planned for construction on the edge of the Gobi Desert. This project is not just an effort to innovate technology, but also a testament to China's ambition to lead the global clean energy revolution. Unlike conventional reactors that use uranium as the primary fuel, the thorium molten salt reactor will utilize thorium, a naturally abundant element. Thorium does not directly serve as a reaction fuel, but is used to produce uranium-233, an isotope capable of sustaining nuclear reactions. This is a significant advancement. As thorium is less radioactive and does not produce hazardous byproducts like uranium, the molten salt reactor, using liquid fluoride salt as both coolant and heat transfer medium, offers several superior benefits. First, its ability to automatically cool during emergencies is a critically important safety feature. In the event of a malfunction, the molten salt automatically flows into a safety tank without requiring electricity or complex intervention, minimizing the risk of accidents similar to those seen in past high-profile incidents. Second, this technology boasts higher efficiency in fuel processing, reducing nuclear waste while saving energy. Thorium also has advantages in terms of supply. China possesses vast thorium reserves, primarily located in the western regions of the country, particularly in provinces like Sichuan and Guizhou. Utilizing thorium allows China to not only reduce reliance on imported uranium, but also leverage domestic resources, contributing to its energy independence strategy. This project is not merely experimental, but could serve as the foundation for developing large-scale thorium nuclear power plants in the future. If successful, China will become the first nation to bring thorium molten salt technology into practical application, ushering in a new era of cleaner, safer, and more sustainable nuclear energy. Although the project is still in the research and testing phase, with China's pioneering capabilities and vast resources, the country is well positioned to master this technology and lay the groundwork for the future of global nuclear energy. Nuclear technology not only provides a clean and stable source of electricity, but also has profound impacts on the economy and the environment. China, with its robust strategy for advancing the nuclear energy sector, is demonstrating that this energy source not only meets electricity demands, but also delivers significant benefits in reducing emissions and fostering regional economic development. One of the most impressive figures is China's nuclear power output in 2024, reaching approximately 444 billion kilowatt hours, equivalent to 5% of the nation's total electricity consumption. This is a substantial achievement, as nuclear power reduces pressure on fossil fuel sources while contributing to the goal of cutting carbon dioxide emissions. Without the development of nuclear power plants, China would rely more heavily on coal and natural gas, which would not only increase pollution, but also raise energy costs and heighten dependence on international markets. In 2024, thanks to its nuclear power plants, China reduced approximately 334 million tons of carbon dioxide, equivalent to removing 70 million cars from the roads for an entire year. This figure clearly reflects the positive impact nuclear power has on improving air quality and mitigating greenhouse gas effects. It is a critical component of the global strategy to achieve carbon neutrality by 2060. Beyond environmental benefits, the nuclear energy sector also positively impacts the national and regional economy. Nuclear projects often involve large-scale infrastructure development, such as building roads, ports, factories, and supporting facilities. In provinces like Guangdong, Shandong, and Fujian, where nuclear power plants are being deployed, infrastructure development translates to thousands of jobs, from engineers to construction workers. This infrastructure not only serves the power plants, but also spurs growth in other industries. From transportation to services, creating a positive economic ripple effect in local communities. Nuclear power also helps China reduce its reliance on imported energy, particularly oil and natural gas. Developing domestic nuclear power plants provides a stable and sustainable electricity source, unaffected by global energy price fluctuations. This contributes to economic stability, lowers energy costs, and supports long-term sustainable development goals. With all these positive impacts, it is clear that nuclear power is not just an energy source, but also a driving force for sustainable economic and environmental development for China and the world. Discussing nuclear energy, safety remains the foremost priority. China fully recognizes this critical importance 
and has established the highest safety standards for its nuclear power projects, particularly in light of lingering concerns stemming from nuclear incidents in other nations. Consequently, throughout the development and construction processes, China places significant emphasis on advanced technology and robust protective systems to ensure the utmost safety. One of the standout technologies developed by China is the Huolong-1, a third-generation plus reactor equipped with both active and passive safety features. The Huolong-1 incorporates an automatic cooling system designed to halt nuclear reactions and cool the reactor core during emergencies without requiring external power sources. This feature is critically important as it significantly reduces the risk of severe incidents similar to those observed in past nuclear accidents. The safety system encompasses not only physical equipment, but also automated control measures, ensuring that in the event of an issue, the reactor automatically shuts down and ceases energy production. In addition to the Huolong-1, China is deploying the CAP-1000, its localized version of America's AP-1000 technology. This technology stands out for its self-cooling capability, enabling the reactor to maintain a stable temperature without operator intervention during power outages or other emergencies. It ranks among the most advanced technologies in the global nuclear industry, beyond large-scale reactors. China is also advancing small modular reactors, a promising technology that offers enhanced flexibility and efficiency. The Linglong One, one of the first small modular reactor models, has a capacity of approximately 125 megawatts, making it ideal for regions with low electricity demand where large power plants are impractical. This reactor can also be installed in remote, isolated areas lacking the infrastructure to support larger reactors, providing electricity to hard-to-reach communities. To ensure safety not only during operations, but throughout the entire life cycle of a nuclear facility. China has implemented a stringent monitoring system. All projects must adhere to international safety standards, undergoing inspections and evaluations by independent agencies. Regular audits and continuous monitoring guarantee that the plants operate according to protocol and pose no threat to the environment or surrounding communities. These concerted efforts aim not only to safeguard China itself, but also to build international confidence in its nuclear safety management capabilities. China is steadily establishing itself not only as a leader in nuclear capacity, but also as a pioneer in developing safe and efficient nuclear technology. China views nuclear power not merely as a domestic energy source, but also as a strategic instrument in energy diplomacy. The development and export of nuclear technology have become vital components in expanding global influence and fostering cooperative relationships with other nations. China is steadily asserting its leadership in the nuclear sector, not only through domestic projects, but also through robust international collaboration programs. China has signed numerous agreements to export nuclear technology to developing countries where electricity demand is rapidly increasing, but financial resources for energy infrastructure investment are limited. For instance, China has constructed Hulong-1 reactors in Pakistan, where these reactors not only supply energy, but also generate job opportunities and support regional infrastructure development. These projects are accompanied by supportive loans, enabling partner nations to implement nuclear power plants without facing excessive initial financial burdens. Beyond Pakistan, China is expanding nuclear cooperation with Argentina, a country also striving to advance its nuclear energy capabilities. China has signed agreements to provide technology and equipment for new nuclear power plants there. Similarly, China has secured a contract with the United Kingdom to participate in the Bradwell B project, where Hualong-1 reactors will be deployed, demonstrating China's ability to export technology to stringent markets with high safety standards, such as Europe. Another strength lies in China's development of international nuclear research centers. To date, China has established 12 research centers with participation from partners in Russia, France, and the International Atomic Energy Agency. These centers serve as hubs for sharing knowledge and technology, while also enhancing China's credibility and building global trust in the nuclear industry. Collaborating with nations that have advanced nuclear technology allows China to learn and refine safety systems while promoting research initiatives for next-generation nuclear technologies. Through cooperative projects and technology exports, China is transforming nuclear power into a tool for soft diplomacy. The country is not only constructing power plants, but also forging enduring relationships with partner nations. Supporting countries in developing nuclear energy delivers economic benefits and strengthens China's image 
as a pioneer in safe and clean energy, while amplifying its global influence in the nuclear sector. China is not merely building nuclear power plants to meet domestic energy demands. It views nuclear energy as a critical component of its global energy transition strategy. The approval of 10 new nuclear reactors each year, with a combined capacity reaching tens of thousands of megawatts, is part of the nation's long-term goal to become the world's leading hub for clean energy by 2035. China has set an ambitious target of achieving 200,000 megawatts of nuclear power capacity by 2035, more than tripling its current capacity. This figure not only reflects the necessity of providing clean electricity, but also underscores a sustainable energy strategy aimed at reducing reliance on fossil fuels and protecting the environment. If this goal is met, China will command a significant share of global nuclear power, elevating its leadership position in the world's energy sector. Nuclear energy is not only a stable and clean power source, but also a key strategic tool in China's foreign policy. By exporting nuclear technology, particularly the Hulong One, China is not only addressing domestic energy needs, but also expanding its global influence. Projects in Pakistan, Argentina, and the United Kingdom serve as clear evidence of this nuclear technology export strategy aimed at strengthening energy diplomacy and fostering robust international partnerships. Beyond the impressive figures for capacity and output, a critical element of China's strategic message is its technological self-reliance. China has fully localized nuclear technology from design to manufacturing and operation, minimizing dependence on Western nations. Reactors like Hulong-1, Cap-1000, and small modular reactors like Linglong-1 exemplify this self-sufficiency. Moreover, China is heavily investing in research and development of next-generation nuclear technologies, such as thorium-based molten salt reactors, with the goal of providing safe and sustainable energy solutions for the future. As a result, nuclear power is not just a clean energy source, but also a cornerstone for China's economic development and energy security moving forward. By combining technology, safety, and international cooperation, China is expanding its influence and establishing itself as a pioneer in the nuclear energy sector, making significant contributions to the global fight against climate change. What do you think about this topic? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe to stay updated on the latest analyses of technology, national strategies, and innovation shaping the future. Top 10 Discoveries official will be back with untold stories, projects that push boundaries, and quiet revolutions with global impact. See you in the next video.